the, the camera. Yeah, you, you know my name, so how do we do this? The idea with this series is sort of like a little bit of a look at yeah. certain certain form of base students to sort of get some feedback of what they took away from base, yeah. um, see where you're at now, what's happened, what's changed, what did you learn? Could you tell? Yeah. Paul here holding the camera. A little bit about it, where yeah. you at? So, yeah, my name's Greg, Greg Jolliffe. Um, I'm from south of Glasgow. And I came up the base, like Anna said, and was just riding downhill at the time, the local races, SDAs. It's kind of similar story to how yeah, exactly. Anna's. And a lot of the base guys all started that way, riding downhill. Base kind of, for me, was just an opportunity to see how where my riding could take me. Give me the outlet to work out what I wanted to do within the industry and then it, it kind of taught me that you can do something else with the sport. my life like it taught me how to ride a bike and then it taught me a lot of life skills as well and I'm building trails now professionally and um, I worked in Whistler building all the Red Bull joyride stuff and it was just insane building such massive trails and I've not been to the, the valley or the golfy for maybe like four or five years now I've been traveling around building riding some cool spots and I'm looking forward to riding my trail. I've heard lots of good things and the good guys of the, the valley have been keeping it in tip top form and ready to hit it. So, this is the Greg Jolliffe Trail, named after yours truly. Um, I actually built this trail when I was at base. Um, oh, that was, must have been 2013, 14. Um, but yeah, the idea was to kind of keep it secret and just build something to test what I've been learning, like change up the speed and have it quite dynamic. There's roots and awkward places and I wanted it to be like that. So after base I kind of realised, right, I like racing, I'm not going to be the best, so I'm going to get a job and something to fall down on or back onto, which was carpentry for me, which has always been like I mentioned, it's always been in the back of my mind. Um, I did that, I did my apprenticeship in Glasgow and worked for some mountain bikers as well, so we all had a common interest. And then, yeah, I kind of got to the stage like, right, I'm good enough now, let's see where this can take me. And I emailed or even just wrote to Red Bull Joyride in Whistler. And the guys were like, sure, if you can get out here, you've got a job, you've got all the necessary skills, come out and get working. So, yeah, I went to Whistler, Met all the guys there, started working like in the, the boneyard building the slope style course, which was just like nothing I'd ever seen before. Landings the size of houses take a week to rake the rocks out. It was just like the whole biking scene for me just exploded and I was in a dream world. But then from that, obviously COVID hit. So I came home and realized, right, I'm gonna do something for myself. I've learned a bit, started digging my own spot. Um, that kind of evolved into Cut Media reaching out to me and saying we have a cool project, you're back home, we're stoked on what you're doing, come and build for us. So did that film project with Ollie Wilkins and we built a crazy line. Like we spent a month in a digger and that was like my first gig on my own. And then from that it led into more people reaching out and finding my own feet which led me to working for Velo Solutions. And that's where I've been the past few years is in Switzerland. I built a nice enduro style trail with optional features like there's a small road gap and a really creative and dynamic jump line right in the city at the bottom and yeah from that just working in Lenzerhide did the cool project there and it just seems like I'm going strength to strength and staying humble and about it and that's what base taught me. <laughs> 